KHNL News 8, live, local, late breaking. On Oahu's windward side, a tragic accident this morning. It happened on Kamehameha Highway in Kahalu'u, just north of the intersection with Kahekili Highway. A car shredded in half after slamming into a utility pole. Tonight, a 23-year-old man and his eight-month-old child are dead. Good evening, everyone. Howard has the night off. The deadly crash happened at about 8.30 this morning, and police say this is the 20th fatal crash on Oahu so far this year. KHNL News 8's Leland Kim joins us live with more on the tragic accident, Leland. Steph, traffic fatalities are up almost 30% from just a year ago, including today's victims. 23 people have died on Oahu roads this year. As police conduct their investigation, another family is left wondering why. Speed and slick roads, a dangerous combination on the windward side. Robert Johnson says he saw a car racing down Kamehameha Highway at about 70 miles an hour. It was raining at that time, and the road was wet. So I was thinking that, oh, he might not be able to make the, the turn or whatever. The car crashed near Kahalu'u Elementary, and police agree the driver appears to have been speeding. The vehicle was traveling Kuhuku bound, hit the pole, ripped in half. The driver, 23-year-old Patrick Davis, flew out of the car and died. His infant son, Kingston, also died. I was stunned. I thought that was just a, thought somebody was just playing a joke, but... My sister-in-law called me crying, and I already knew something bad had happened. Kaleo can't believe his cousins are dead. I can't put in words, but I don't know, man. I don't know what else Kingston's grandfather says he'll miss not being able to see the baby grow up, and the family has a message for drivers. You guys slow down, you know what I mean? Just go slow. I was speeding. You gotta get there somewhere. Somewhere. Speeding ain't the way. Speeding is a factor in about half of deadly accidents, and police say today's crash appears to be no different. Family members describe Patrick as a good guy, and Kingston as a happy kid, always smiling. Reporting live, Leland Kim, KHN News 8. Thanks a lot, Leland. And this morning's accident is the third fatal crash along that same stretch of Kamehameha Highway in the last several months. Less than a mile from today's accident in December, an SUV crashed into a guardrail in Kahalu'u, killing a woman. Officers arrested 33-year-old Robert Lawson on suspicion of negligent homicide and driving under the influence. Police say speed and alcohol were factors in that crash. And in June of 2006, just a couple miles up the highway, a tour bus crossed the center line of Kamehameha Highway and slammed into an SUV. The driver of the SUV died at the scene. The tour bus driver was fired for failing to submit to drug and alcohol tests.